Oh, there we go. There's the Blitz Lounge right there. Look at it. Look at a little spooky. Look at a little spooky. Welcome one and all to the Halloween edition of Titans Blitz. Brought to you by Farmer Health Plans. I am Lance Smith. Joined by... Michael Myers, otherwise known as Eddie George. Yes. <laughs> it's spooky when you get still like that. I like that. that. The stillness, that's, everything. That's it's everything. The scary stuff. Yeah, that's where that's where the magic happens in stillness. You so get into this. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Yes. Well, well bless you one and all. Thank you for being here. Uh, we're here to uh, absolve the team of third down sins. We'll talk about that later. Uh, welcome to the Titans Blitz, y'all. Uh, before we kick off the show, uh, our Titans Blitz Lounge. They're into it as well. I like this. Look, we you got another Mike Myers right there in the middle. Mike Myers. Mr. Titan's ready to go. That's it. Like this, got it. Call us a good game, ref. Clint, Clint's very happy, I see. <laughs> I like it. All right, guys, thank you for being here again. Uh, Halloween edition, we're having some fun with this. All right, let's kick off the show and, uh, and get into it. Eddie, my man, uh, we got to get into four downs with Eddie here, uh, presented by uh, Corson Fire and Security. The game. Let's talk. Yeah. Ouch. It hurts. But it hurts. But there's some positives. Oh, there's a lot of positives. Yeah. The fact that they were down by, what, 17? 20, 20. Actually, They yeah. were down by 20 at one point in time. Found a way to get back into the game when it could, they could have gotten really out of hand. It could have gotten ugly. Yeah. Um, was kicking a field goal to go into possibly going to overtime. Yeah. So there's a lot to be thankful for, a lot to look at, but there's also a vast in, room for improvement. Yeah. When you talk about... A team that was undefeated, and now they have one loss. Right. They still got room for improvement. Plenty to talk about. You brought up a point, though, I, I, I want to bring up later. What, what do you take from this type of loss? But right now, let's go with uh, first down in our four downs right here. And let's talk about the good stuff. Uh, first down, Mr. Brown, A.J. Brown, was delivering. He was in fuego. Man, Six receptions, 153, uh, clutch passes, clutch grabs. Um, this is the stuff, what we expect, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, this is the player that he works to be. I mean, the kid came in as a rookie last year wanting to be the best in the game, not just satisfied with getting drafted, not just satisfied with saying, hey, I want to make a couple catches, but I want to be a real game maker. I want to, you know, strive to be a Hall of Famer one day. That's yeah. the kind of attitude and work ethic he puts on here. You see the big play-making uh, ability. Uh, he's able to convert on – Third downs, mm -hmm. um, that, that's been key for our offense. And he's another added explosive weapon along with Derrick Henry and the other yeah. uh, receivers and so forth that the Titans have. I mean, he is going to be a superstar in this league for years to come. Uh, he never played like a rookie yeah. last year, a grown man all the way. Uh, but let's talk about that especially explosive play. Mm -hmm. uh, fastest wide receiver in the NFL on this play right here. You know, just a little boom, quick hey. route right there, and he's gone, hits 22 miles an hour. And it floated. He has the ability to take something ordinary and make him special. Yes. You know, now, so that's it. That's exactly what slant. that was. Yeah. Uh, his, his college uh, teammate, DK Metcalf, went a little faster than that, uh, but without the football. See, that's the difference. Right? That was, that's, that's the that's difference. The difference. Right, right, right. You have to have the football in the hand <laughs> to qualify to right. the fastest guy in the But DJ Metcalf, ooh. Yeah. That was... There, yeah. And both respect each other, too. I love that. Yeah, A.J. Brown, though, killer for us. Yeah. Uh, moving on to uh, second down. Uh, look, guys, like you said, the, the guys didn't give up. You know, fought mm -hmm. it. The first half was that kind of head shaking, head scratching, who are we, bad first half. But it was that second half, uh, especially beginning right here, uh, at the end of the first half with uh, Crookshank getting this interception. Mm -hmm. uh, they fought and fought and fought. And it was the Titans that, well, I don't know about that play, but it was the Titans that, we, uh, that we've known to love and, and we expect to get back into the game. It was amazing watching that second half. Uh, plus nine. In takeaways leading yeah. the NFL? Yeah, plus nine in takeaways. They're doing an outstanding job getting the ball back to their offense. And when you can play that type of football, you have give you a lot of opportunities. Uh, you know, again, the, it shows the resilience mm -hmm. of this team. And this was not – this is against the best team in the AFC right now, the yeah. Pittsburgh Steelers. Jayon I mean, Brown was lights yeah. out, too. He was – he covers so well in the middle of the field, but, you know, eyes up, catching the ball. We had a lot of tip passes. That D-line, if they couldn't get to Big Ben, they were getting their hands up. Mm -hmm. Tipped a lot of passes. Had two interceptions like yeah. that. Yeah, I think we'll see this team again, though, late in, late in, late in the year. You think so? I think so. I think yeah. this is going to set up for that. I like Almost that. Almost happens that way. Uh, Tannehill, too, uh, really – Really, really mm -hmm. settled down in the second half and was on fire, slinging it. So, 
it, it, it was one of those wins, and again, we'll, we'll talk about more about this point, it was one of those wins that you, you did walk away with, or not wins, more losses, but you walked away with something yeah. out of that. Hang your head on. Uh, moving on to, uh, to third down, uncharacteristic of us. Uh, special teams has uh, always, special teams always been strong for us. We did not have a strong special teams day, of course, mm -hmm. with the Gostowski miss at the end, but uh, you know, muff punt, uh, some bad snaps. Um, kick off there. So, what? Is this just a, oops? Yeah, it is. I mean, it's uncharacteristic. I mean, you never see Curran do anything like this. You know, uh, mishandled the punt. It was low to begin with. Yeah. And then, you know, I saw the tail end of it. I'm like, why are we running a fake punt? Right. I didn't realize, you, you know, what had happened. Um, and the big return here. You know, our coverage was undisciplined. They didn't mm -hmm. stay in their lanes. And in this game, you've got to be solid in all three phases of the game against great teams or good teams like Pittsburgh or uh, Baltimore or Kansas City. Special teams have gotten tightened up, obviously, no yeah. pun intended. Uh, the defense has got to be better on third down. Offensively, continue to do what you're doing. If one of those, if you only one of those parts are working of all the three, then you're going to have a result like that. But the yeah. good thing is. They were still in it at the end of the game. They were. It was amazing. I, I love the halftime adjustment. Uh, hats off to him on that, of mm -hmm. course. Uh, and you already mentioned it. Here we go. Fourth down. Fourth down is about third, third down. down. Uh, see, 62% uh, on the season were giving up third down. Why, Eddie, am I more comfortable watching our team on fourth and one at the goal than I am at third and 15? Because you know they're going to convert third yeah. and 15. I mean, you almost expect it like it's something – not quite there. I, I, I go back to uh, the defensive coordinator that we're missing from last season. I mean, we're still in that, that process of trying to get the calls right, trying to get the chemistry right, mm -hmm. trying to make sure guys are in the right fit and a Dory Jackson and the pass rush. The, right. the, for me, third down is about the big boys up front. The dogs got to eat. Mm -hmm. you know, Clowney, Vic yeah. Beasley, they've got to eat. They got to go and hunt that cornerback, yeah. the quarterback, make him get him off his mark. Get your hands up, tip the ball, yeah. get the sack, do something. But they got to eat on third down. If they don't eat on third down, then it leaves the open secondary to be vulnerable. You saw what happened. All right, but you know, I, I have faith in the coaching staff. I know Vrabel and company are, are going to get them in line. Mm -hmm. uh, so ready for the Bengals. We'll talk about that more later. Hey, guys, no, 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on your car insurance. With that, we'll go to break with our Geico Fast 15. Stick around. Titans Blitz will be right back. <laughs> Play fake, fires, got it complete, Brown, 35, 40, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5, end zone, 74 yards, touchdown, Titans, and the Titans have a big six. He needs two yards to keep this game moving on. You see what you're made of when you go through something tough. Steady rainfall. And yeah, it's been a tough year, but Tennesseans are built for this. Grit passed down through generations. We look for it. We like it that way. Football is back, baby. Tough. Tennessee tough. All right, all right, all right. Spooky, spooky time. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans, I'm Lance Smith. This is Michael Myers, also known as Eddie George. Halftime here on the show. Uh, hey, you know, fans always have our backs, but we had an opportunity to uh, get one of our fans' backs. You're going to love this. Check this out. So here's the story. One of our diehard fans named John Cosley got in trouble recently for posting a Tennessee Tough sign in his front yard. His HOA find him. So we brought a bigger sign and a bigger check. I'm waking up the neighbors. Is there construction going on around? They're, they're, work, they're working on there. I just bought a... I think I just saw John's bike. I think they may be trying to set up up front. Oh, let's go see what's going on. Steel camera. I think we're caught. What in the world's going on? <laughs> hey guys, T Rex. <laughs> hey, hey. What's up, Lance? <laughs> What's up, man? How are you doing? Pause, Lance! 
<laughs> awesome. What is this? <laughs> Yeah. Come here and look at your new Tennessee tough side. <laughs> I like it. I like it. You, sir, are the fan that every team needs, man. You brought it. You are Tennessee tough. And I felt you needed a bigger sign. Now, listen, <laughs> I know you got in trouble, right? Yeah, so uh, we had our, uh, our sign right there next to the uh, front door. Um, it was only there for a couple days. And we got a letter in the mail from uh, HLA saying, hey, this violates HLA policy, you know, everything else. Uh, you have 16 days to remove it. So I let it out for like that 16 days, whatever. And then on game days, what I did is moved it, put it right over here. <laughs> you yep. think you get in trouble for this? Absolutely. Yeah? <laughs> Let's take care of that. John calls on behalf of the Tennessee Titans, we're here to pay your HOA fees. <laughs> so we get you a check for $400. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Tighten up! up! <laughs> and he's joining us now. There he is, John Cosley. Uh, so, dude, I got to ask. First of all, is the sign still up? I got to be honest, Lance. We had, the we had the loss, so I'm very superstitious. So I did take it down. Okay, you know what? I, I can respect that. Right. You've okay. you still got a killer yeah. sign, so I'm sure you're still going to use it somehow, oh, some absolutely. way. Absolutely, absolutely. We have a lot of uh, a lot of attention to it, so it actually might be going back up. <laughs> Your neighbors liked it, though, right? Very much so. Very odd. We had a, created a little bit of a drama with the HOA Facebook page, but uh, it was uh, it was fun. <laughs> I like that. We're, we're revolting. Nice. All we're getting people fired up. Did you did you finish? Did you figure out the correct distance for the poles? Lance didn't do a very good job of of having was, the poles. I was in a hurry. That thing was heavy. We'll I, I apologize. I, I feel like my son might have like ruined the surprise. I know he was wandering around up there, and uh, I had no idea what was going on in the front. I honestly thought my neighbor was working on his camper. And then to come around and see all that, I'm, I was just blown away. That's awesome. It was That's awesome. good. I didn't know how much surprise <laughs> was going to be. I mean, I was a one-man construction crew, and we brought drums. So, anyway, <laughs> we were making some noise. Anyway, uh, John Cosley, man, thank you so much for being the fan that you are. Mm -hmm. you, you rock, dude. That was great. Well, thank you very much for everything you guys done. That was uh, very awesome. That was so awesome. I love it. All right, well, we got to get ready for this next game coming up on the other side. We're going to talk about keys to victory against the Bengals. So stick around. Titans Blitz. We'll be right back. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. I'm Lance Smith, Eddie George, the father and the serial killer. Michael Myers. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's do this. It's now a, a two-minute warning here on the show. We've got to talk about this game coming up mm. against the Bengals hitting the road. Both of us coming off a loss, of course. The Titans being 5-1. and one. They are 1-5-1. One, and one. But they're a better team than 1-5-1. Oh, and gosh, one. yeah. I mean, they can they can score points in bunches, and they're, they've been in a lot of games. I mean, it's not like this is a a bad 1-5 and five team, if right. that makes sense. They're capable of, of winning. They should have won last week. It was an exciting game to watch. Yeah. And they could put up a bunch of points uh, a, quickly. A big reason for that, yeah. and that's his first key here, uh, we've got to pressure Joe Burrow. Oh. Rookie, he's not playing like a rookie. Uh, he loves this game. He's, he's an excellent quarterback. He's going to be here around for a long time, which you like to see in the NFL. Well, he's showing that he's very elusive in the pocket. Yes. He's able to move effectively in the pocket. So getting him off his mark is not going to be a big – got to get to him and get him down. Right. Don't allow him to get the ball off. I mean, so it's going to be good for our offensive line – or defensive line yeah. to apply the pressure, but get to him early, often, and get him unsettled mm -hmm. to be in the pocket. So, and he's not afraid to run. He's no, not afraid he's to not, run with the ball. Not. Well, he's a, he was a former Ohio State Buckeye. So, you know, <laughs> just don't let out there. We gave him the LSU, but that's, that's a different story for a different uh. day. But we got to be able to get to him in the pocket this week. Like you picked the, the Ohio State <laughs> just, part out of it. Just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> Do have to get to him, absolutely. Well, uh, the reason he's doing so well is they kind of have a sort of a three-headed monster, if you will, yeah. in receivers in uh, Boyd, A.J. Green, T. Higgins, the rookie. Yes. Uh, uh, Miss Titans, Mr. Football, he was recognized. He's a Tennessee guy from mm -hmm. Oak Ridge. Titans recognized Higgins. Uh, but it, he's got targets. Yes. And, you know, our secondary has been, you know, we've had some issues in our secondary yeah. this yeah. year. So they're going to be busy. I think this team, though, is the perfect get-right game for us. Like, this isn't – they're not a pushover. 
but we've got to really, really be disciplined. No, extremely disciplined, um, especially in the secondary. We've given up some big plays this year in our in our passing attack or our defend or defending the pass, mm -hmm. um, and it's going to put a lot of a lot of pressure on the structure of our secondary. So, you know, not having a Dory Jackson is going to hurt. So, guys have got to step up and realize that hey. We got to play uh, complementary team ball. We mm -hmm. got to be at the right spots. We got to be able because we can get turnovers. We, yeah. We've shown that. But in terms of giving giving up the big plays, getting on da off on third down, winning first, second, and third down is going to be key. And again, it goes back up to the pressure that's applied up front. Yeah. Also, too, I'd like to see us plus thirty. I mean, that's just what it's taking in this yeah. league this year. Yep. The defenses are giving up, but we you, we've got to keep pace. I mean, I was impressed that we kept Pittsburgh to just twenty-seven, mm -hmm. but only three in the second half. That was key there. So the third key here uh, on the clock. Okay, control the clock. Pittsburgh had the ball for thirteen more minutes yes, than we did this last game. That was the difference. That was the difference. And we got out to a slow start, down mm -hmm. fourteen nothing. Then the snowball effect rolled. We got the ball back at the first set. So if we can get out to a fast start. Um, get Derrick Henry rolling a little bit earlier, let him just pound on that defense, control the clock, keep that offense off the field, the Bengal offense off the field, keep Joe Burrow and those mm -hmm. trio receivers on the sideline where they can't do much damage yeah. is going to help us out tremendously. You know, they uh, so they have uh, – they're down – Three starters on their O-line, so they've got backups playing on the mm -hmm. O-line. That should be good for our defensive line. Also, they give up a lot of rushing yards. So, owning the clock, controlling the clock, uh, Derrick Henry, you know, he had – going up against tough defense, I, he had a good game against them, 75 mm -hmm. yards touchdown. But I, I see, I see Derrick – getting 100, maybe 150 maybe in this 200. game. Maybe two, yeah. maybe another 200-yard yeah, 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 game. Yeah, yeah. game. He's yeah. the league, he's the league leading rusher. I mean, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's looking yeah, good. It's, All right. I mean, it's a good thing. I have an interesting question for you about this loss coming up on the other side. So do stick around. Overtime on Titans Blitz. We'll be Bring right back. Halloween edition of Blitz Lounge. Welcome to the Halloween edition of the Titans Blitz, presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans, Lance Smith, Eddie George. Uh, overtime here on the show. And uh, with that, I have a question for you. What's up? I want to talk about uh, inspiring the team. And mm. I can't think of anybody better to talk to about it than you, because mm -hmm. well, you're a leader. And, and we have the uh, video evidence right okay. here. Okay. I love See. these days. <laughs> hey, man, forget the smoke and mirrors. Stay right here. For 60 minutes of firm focus. Focus on executing and dominate. Come out here and play from the spirit. Have a life. Game of your life, man. One of the three. Come on, man. Let's go. I could watch mm. that on loop all day long. <laughs> so my question, Mr. Leader, Eddie George, uh, is it possible for this team to take more from this loss than they would have if they had won it? Without a, without a doubt. Uh, you learn more from your losses than you do your victories. Because okay. sometimes when you win the way that they've won, you, you, you tend to sweep the little things under the rug. Yeah. And you uh, take for granted those things. Like, okay, for example, okay, we're finding ways to bounce back in these games, coming from behind, and it's fun and it's cute, but you're not dominating the way that you need to, and it catches up with you. So when you have a loss like this, it's a good thing. You say, okay, what can we do differently? How can we come out faster? How can we um, uh, uh, approach this differently than we ever had before and learn from this so we can go on another four or five game winning streak? Because your losses, I'm glad it happened early so they can learn and yeah. appreciate it and grow from it and hold each other accountable to a higher standard. And then when you come, up, when you come out the next week, it just continues to grow and grow because the last thing you can do is – those wins can mask a lot of those in, in, inefficiencies mm -hmm. and inconsistencies, and it'll show up at the wrong time in the playoffs. Yeah, man. Yeah. I just watching that. Listen to you talk now, and watching that clip of you with the team firing them up. Yeah, I missed that. You got some <laughs> fire in you, man. You hey, always still, have. It's still there. Now it I'm is doing still it to there. my sons. Get an A in English. Get an A in English. <laughs> you need to be in honor. I take all this seriously, and he's dressed as Michael Myers, and I'm a priest. Hey, uh, happy Halloween, everybody. Be safe this weekend. Uh, and please, it is your right, it is your privilege, vote! All right, we will see you next week on the show if I'm still alive. Blitz Lounge, thank you for being here. Oh, bless you all. Got to get that Titans win. Tighten up, tighten up, tighten up. <laughs>